going to start reading now. Please stay still so I can get you, not the other people behind you. Where are we? This is Cathedral Park. Be louder. Come closer. I can't this get the arches. Okay, loud, loud. The volcano. Louder. <laughs> okay. Come closer if you can't hear me. Okay. The volcano. Part one. Upon the clear day, the volcano rises above, and those who know it know. Those who do not, they see it. Smolder or memory through ash. Her brilliance, a flash exquisite, volcanic. Even the sound of it ripe with a sheen. And that light is brilliant. And that permanence is effective. Mimic of memories of age and still flashes in the throb of time. Two. I can hear splashing in the distance. Distance of right here and now. Waves, those of the landscapes of those of the buried beneath. Aqua. We hear the waves and their mysteries. We hear the waves and their movement. The volcano submerged or rising high above to oversee the change of sea. Mountain of earth and fire and air to nod the bodies of liquid memory. Three. Take in and embrace the echo of the production of the creativity of light. Let go and allow this escape of sound from your deepest furrows, your gut, your eyes. The hymn of cries that represent the unleashing of years upon years. And all we have known are the smiles that have been provided for us, for all. The world looking upward and seeing a mountain of flames, sleeping and still. Four. Dawn the hip and shoulder and bosom and throat and nose and the reflective head. Dawn fingers and the wrists and palms and cheeks and elbows and the ankles. The way we jagged create the horizon, poses in motion or in stillness. Call it home or call it journeying, to know that these patterns, positions, call ourselves owners and how we dance trying to match vibrating landscapes. See the towers of metal and wood as they rise and fall before thee, before a volcano. Choose to embrace or choose to turn and embrace that other you have found. Choose as in choice as in the crash of pebbles upon the floor, spinning wheels, the sound of a saw blade in the distance, or perhaps the crackle upon maple. Pine cones or a rotting stump, or perhaps even the sound of recycled metals. Six. You erupt and roar, and your momentum represents a new form of fury. And when it does, the people believe you in ways new and old, of reaction and enlightenment, bound form of positive and negative harmony, strength, the force to move the world around you, to send the pyroclastic and the molten, to receive the cool of the air upon the tip of your brow, arched toward moonlight. 7. Memory of dancing, memory of stomping in joy through celebrations, harmonies of the fire or of the soul and the earth, of time, progress, revisions, belief systems formed and melted and reformed upon summits, ridges, and peaks, peaked interests in valleys, long streams glacial and flowing, effervescent. Volcano holds the awe in place before the spinning globe begins to sing. Part 8. There will be the growth, and there will be the destruction in the spaces of rejuvenation. We learn what is to be stone, what is to be forest, harmonized pastorals. This is the face of existence, the cap of the oldest foundations, a shifting portal. Mirror to past and future over eons, indescribable periods of fireball sizzling, depths of obsidian, vulcanized perspectives matching night before day. Part 9. Of course there will be the uncertainty and mindfulness will be startling, through courses of the buried and the challenged as storms howl and breeze ooze, a mesmerized utterance of how we got here, there, where, 
the staging of questions, as old as space and time, as old as the idea of change can be conceived, memories before the eras of seeds and sprouts of small, silent campfires. Ten. Before the clouds cast their shadows of rain and blazing blasts of sunshine, underneath web of birch leaf and alongside deer track and moose grip, the glyphs of the volcano carve their way across the people's staggered terrain. Eruptions or memories of eruptions are collaged through perceptions of mirage. Gentle singing is cast along the trails to and from our volcano's peripheries. That piece is called The Volcano, and it was written for the late Robert Fraser and my stepfather, and it passed away a couple months ago.